Hey, it's me, and I'm back at it again with a new video. This time, we're tackling my nighttime skincare routine. So, what up? I'm just waving hi. And of course, the first step is gonna be take off your glasses. The first thing I like to do is remove any makeup that I have on. So I like to do it with the Bye Bye Makeup from It Cosmetics. I really love it because it melts from a solid to a serum and it doesn't feel greasy and it really takes everything off. This is how I would apply it on my face. So just kind of rub it on and let everything melt off and then wipe it off with a cloth. After that, I go into my Clara Sonic. I only use it at night to get a deep clean and you're only supposed to glide it across your face because you're not trying to kill your skin. I really love this herbivore charcoal soap. I like to cut it into pieces and rub it into my Clarisonic. It's really mild, but it really draws out impurities from your pores. I spoke about this mask before, the blue tansy mask from herbivore, and it really totally, you know, cleared up my skin when I went to Florida. It has AHA and BHA. So AHA, if that's hard for you to remember, it's kind of like surface level exfoliation and the BHA goes deeper into the pore. The mask is all natural and then you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. So now I'm going to go into my Neogen Bio Peel Pads and these are super amazing. I love them a lot. I don't use them every day even though you can because they're not that harsh. You can see here that they have two sides so they have a textured side that's a little bit more rough and one that's a little bit softer. So one takes off a lot more of the dead skin cells and the other one kind of picks up the remaining debris. So I'm just, you know, doing the same thing. And don't forget about your neck. Your neck is super important. And after you're done, just make sure to rinse it off with some warm water because you don't want to leave it on your face for too long. So fresh, so clean, clean. Now we're going to go into toning because you want to restore your skin's pH. Now this is the Martian toner from Sunday Riley and it has a lot of ingredients that soothe the skin but it also has bentonite clay which not only tightens your pores it also controls oil. Now this here is the Kosar X Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. That's a lot but really what it does is that it really helps out your skin. You're gonna see why I made that face right now. It's because it's super viscous. So it has a very like thick consistency. It's not sticky, but you know, it really helps your skin hydrate. It makes your skincare work better because it drives your skincare deeper into your pores, which is really what you want because you want warm bang for your butt. Put most of it on your cheeks, on your chin, and then use the remaining amount on your nose and on your forehead so you don't look shiny. Uh-huh, I'm just kidding. This is the AHA7 Whitehead Power Liquid from Kosarx. Um, this is a chemical exfoliator and I love this stuff because it really works and I just kind of put it where I need it. I'm just gonna tap it on to the breakouts on my face. So anywhere where I'm having any blemish problems usually. So once I'm done like breaking out or I don't see that I have that much like blemishes, uh, I usually stop using it until something reappears. And unfortunately it always reappears, but this really like brings it down. You wanna let it absorb for a few minutes so that it really works. But sometimes I've seen that you don't really have to wait that much to see results. Then I put on the Peter Thomas Roth Laser Free Resurfacer Eye Serum. That is a mouthful. And it's supposed to lessen the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and puffiness, and dark circles. I haven't really seen a difference, but I like that it's not so heavy because usually eye creams give me some milia and those are almost impossible to get rid of. I also like that I can put it everywhere. It's 360 degrees, so I don't have to worry about where I gotta put it because I don't wanna think about that when I'm putting on my eye cream. After that, I like to spritz some Jolique Rose Water Balancing Mist to give me some added hydration. This can set makeup, but usually it'll make me greasy, so I just like it for the hydration. And it's a super fine mist, and you're gonna see me spray it on. Mm, it looks so good, it feels so good. And then I just shake it in and press it in to add that hydration onto my skin. After that, I like to press in some Skin Ink My Daily Dose Lines Be Gone set because it was a whole big set. So this one has hyaluronic acid in it. It also has collagen serum and it has coenzyme Q10. Basically, it hydrates, 
it helps the skin replenish itself and it has an anti-aging effect so you know all those lines i'm getting into my 30s soon which is so sad but then i just press it into my skin on my neck don't forget about your neck this is very important that's where you're going to be able to tell how old you are so i just press it in everywhere then I like to go into my treatment steps. So I take the Sunday Riley UFO oil. It has 1.5 salicylic acid, which is derived from tea tree oil and black cumin, which helps support clear skin. It also has licorice and hexyl resorcinol, which brighten discoloration. It has milk thistle and cucumber seed oil to ensure that your skin doesn't dry out. I just like to add three drops to my skin and then press it in, rub it all over. It dries up really fast and it doesn't feel super greasy. Just wait one to three minutes and then you're ready for the next step. Next, I like to use my moisturizer. I'm using the Kim Tai Oh for Wanderlush. It's pretty basic. It's also a primer, but I only use it to hydrate my skin. I don't really see a big difference, but it does hydrate, so it does do what it's supposed to. I also like to hydrate my lips with the Dior Skin Lip Glow. This is a number one. I love this stuff. So it has mango butter in it, and it also has an SPF of 10. You don't really need an SPF at night, but this doesn't have any petroleum in it, so it doesn't feel gross and heavy, and it just doesn't sit on the surface. It really does hydrate and penetrate the skin of your lips. If I have any pesky little breakouts, which I usually do, I go to my trusty Mario Badescu drying lotion. It has sulfur, zinc oxide, and salicylic acid, of course, to dry up whiteheads overnight. I love this stuff, it's amazing, and it really does work. And you can see that I'm just feeling for blemishes to see if I have any to put it on. Those are just spots, unfortunately, but everything else, I put it on there, and I'll just leave it on overnight. By this time, I'm totally pooped, so the last thing is to go to sleep because that's totally necessary in skincare. Actually, the last thing I like to do is drink water because I like to stay hydrated while I sleep just to help my body do its thing. So that's pretty much it. Bye! Just kidding, here I am again!